Hey guys, welcome back. Today we got the Casio 4303 module on the table, yellow dial. Uh, we'll get to what the model number here is in a second. Uh, sorry, I got a little glare on there. I'm trying to move that around. Uh, one thing I really like about this, I've been hanging on to it for a while. Uh, the yellow dial, obviously, the glow in the dark hands. Uh, look, we got this digital date readout. I believe this is this is a wave scepter, so it is an atomic watch. Uh, Non-numeric hour markers, and the markers themselves are in a, kind of a greenish color. Really like that unique watch. Now, Casio's kind of are a dime a dozen, so let's flip to the other screen here, and we'll see. I You guys are always asking, you know, what are these worth? So I'm just going to do this right now. What is it, 11.28, 6 p.m., uh, 2023, so November 28th for, for those of you not American. Um, this is what we found one for. Uh, when did this sell? 1010, so not too long, about a month ago. Only sold for 2150, but it was on auction, so those usually go for much less. I know people just try to move things out. Um, so we could probably get a little more than that. What do you think we should do with this watch, guys? We've been hanging on to it. Let me show why. Obviously, yellow dial is unique. I, I couldn't find any more of these on here. Uh, let's flip the screen back to the, the desktop. Uh, this one has a great um, clasp and lock. You know, not like the Seikos where they just fold over and clang, then you, you know, put your wrist down, you pop the thing off. Um, but it is a Casio, right? So they're, they, they just, uh, I guess they're not just as high dollar or collectible. Not all of them, unless you get into the jig chalk and, and all that good stuff, which we won't get into. But what do you think I should do with it? Do you think I should just sell it, send it on its way? That crystal is scratched pretty good. It's going to need polished up. It's going to be hard to tell on the camera. Um, but yeah, I, I really like this watch. It has all the links in place, so it probably would fit up to seven and a half, seven three quarter inch wrist somewhere around there. Um, what do you think? Uh, it does have minor scratches on the band here and there. It is a used watch, but I don't know. Not sure what to do now. I do have uh, an original video on this. I'll link down in the description where. I did uh, battery change, getting it back up and running, all that. I'll link that below if you're interested in more about this watch. Um, let me know. Let me know what you think, guys. Anyway, just a quick one. Don't know what to do with this yet. Been hanging on to it for a while and thought we'd start a conversation. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.